Do you ever get nervous about that? Got to start off. Got to start off with a good kick. Well, you know what? Uh, every game has to start off with a kickoff, and that's not where I would normally kick. It. <laughs> Mine would go out of the end zone. <laughs> well, see, that's why we got to get you in the game. We got yeah, exactly. to get some more power here. You never want to kick it right down Main Street anyway on a kickoff. He gets away with it, and now I'm Wild will take over at the 22-yard line. This is going to be a big game. And remember, the winner of this game is going to be the one that represents your Jacksonville Jaguars at that club championship. And we'll have a chance to bring that trophy back here. Herschel Walker goes nowhere. Of course, you played at Louisiana Tech. They were the Bulldogs. We were. Yeah, we uh, we were in a part of Louisiana that uh, wasn't exactly Cajun. We were more <laughs> country there than Cajun. Get some good food, no matter where you are in Louisiana, though. You're not kidding. Some crawfish, atouffee. Oh, oh some, some good pizza stuff. up north too. Yeah, he's been a lot of time in Baton Rouge. Of course, that's where EA's does a lot of their QAing of the games. Wow. Rosie with a big sack early on, getting some momentum. A third and seventeen for Wild. This is an awkward situation, especially how good a Rosie's been on defense. So third and 17 from the 16. He's That'll in the shadows of Everbank Field. Corner route there and out route deep to the outside, if you had to ask me. Bunch to the right. Michael Vick in the gun. Looking. Finds Anderson. Oh. Reaches for the first down. He's going to be just shy. Now, in a fourth and one, you, you know, you're a kicker. Do you, are, are you rooting for the punt? Are you... Or you, or you want your team to go for it? Well, no one's ever rooting for a punt. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be going for every fourth and one. Big pressure. Time. And he gets it. Yeah, ends up picking up the first down. Very fortunate for a while that Shazier was able to hold on to that ball. Just got to the line, hiked it right away. Especially Quick. going to Shazier being a linebacker. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Anything can happen. We saw Miles Jack lined up earlier today. And this is a bomb to the speedster. Ross breaks a tackle to the eight-yard line. Wow. It's a bomb from Michael Vick, RG. And that's good poise. Let's it rip. He has the throw power to get it done. John Ross, the speedster. Three for three. He's in the red zone here on the opening drive. Pitches it outside of Herschel Walker. Good. Takes the wide route and gets in for the touchdown. Boy, Herschel Walker was big in the semifinals. He's huge so far here in the final. And this is going to be a good chance for a Rosie to grow up on the fly. This is the young man's first live event. You come out, you get Wild into a fourth down situation. He converts and then puts up seven. Now we get to see how you respond. This is a great chance to grow as a Madden player for a Rosie if he can come back, punch Wild right back in the mouth and get himself seven. There's a Rosie looking on. You'll see this interesting kickoff here. Scobie as they they don't like to kick it deep. Some of these guys like to just pooch it to the sideline. Did you, did you guys ever do that, Josh, where you, you want to keep the ball out of the hands of the most athletic guy and you, you kind of kick it short to make sure? Uh, well, especially now with the touchback going to the 25-yard yeah, line. Right. It's a smart play, and I would do it every time if I were to, uh, a coach. And, and we, you only know, give a plus eight there instead of giving the opportunity for them to take it back to the house. Yep. RG3 rolling to the right. Looking downfield, and there's the legend, Andre Reed, out to the 47. So a Rosie. We talked about the defense coming in this one, but looks like the offenses are ready to go. So besides kicking, you know, we, I, th I think you played, what, in, correct me if I'm wrong, Tyler, Texas, Longview, Texas. It was somewhere out there, right? Longview, yes. Oh. Did you ever play anything besides kicker? Uh, At some point, yeah, you know. Punter? Does punter count? <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, it's not really much of a, a position, but, yes, punter. I didn't start playing until I was a senior in high school. Really? Yeah. Was it was it soccer before that then? Soccer, baseball, track, everything other than uh, football. Football was on accident. So there has to be a story behind that. That all of a sudden you just they say you got to come out for the team. We need you. Pretty much, yeah. I happened to be kicking uh, footballs with a buddy of mine, and yeah. the football coach drove by, saw it happening, and asked me to play football. And you know, four years later, I got drafted here. 
So, uh, it, I mean, it was God put me in the right place at yeah. the right time. The current kicker for the Jags, Lambo, I believe, is a yeah, soccer guy soccer as well. Guy too, so. yeah. So, yeah, he he was actually drafted in the MLS as a goalie, uh, and goalies are, are, are the ones that take the long kicks. The yeah, 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 that makes sense. So that's where he grew up and, and knew what to do, and it translated. So first and 10 from the 33, rolling to the left. Throws across his body. Ooh. It was almost intercepted by Sean Taylor. And you see Wild. He's getting a little animated right there. He can taste getting this victory. He needs a big turnover. A Rosie, though, still, still alive on this drive, looking to respond in a big way to Wild's touchdown. They got their game faces on. Yeah. Oh, they're dead serious, Josh. They are dead serious. This is hours and hours of lifting those virtual weights, <laughs> practicing, <laughs> putting in that work, and it all comes down to one game. It, it could be nerve-wracking. It's a big deal for these young men. I love it. So a Rosie, I believe he has, yeah, it's Janikowski, the lefty, as his kicker. Be a 49-yarder from there. <gasps> almost throws another INT. Wild not happy about that one. Missed opportunity for the defense. That could have been a pick the other way. Let's be honest, Josh Gobi. What, what was your range? Normal wind conditions, uh, we would always set it at about 54 yards. So if we get to the 37, uh, that's where we would be. If, it just depended on the wind. I mean, that, that's the number one factor. In was, there, goal kicking. was there any time that you maybe had a good pregame and you're like, Coach, uh, it could be 56 today? Oh, absolutely. I'd, I'd tell the coach if I were feeling it or not. And uh, if you had a good coach, he would listen to you. If you didn't, uh, then he would uh, not listen to you at times. <laughs> I had some of those, too. Yeah, I'm sure you had those moments where you thought you could kick along and they're like, no, we're going to send the punt team in. I never told a coach I couldn't make one. Yeah. <laughs> Seven to three, so Rosie gets on the board here. That's a huge drive for both of these competitors with 129 left in the first. Vic in the pocket, throwing it deep to Ross. Ross. And Ross, the speedster from the Bengals, takes it to the house. And Wild, he's getting a little wild. Gets a big let's go right there. It makes it two possession ball game. And that Vic to Ross combo is deadly right now for a Rosie. He is going to have to make an adjustment because Wild's just going to keep hitting him up over the top for big plays if he keeps letting him. So 14-3 to three now. Who are some return guys you were, you were a little fearful of back there on a kickoff? I mean, there were times where I was normally bigger than the return man, but yeah. it didn't necessarily mean I wanted to. We hit talked him. about C.J. Spiller. You were on my radio show one yes. time, and you but you, you forced him out of bounds one time. Yeah, <laughs> forced him out. I wouldn't necessarily say I tackled him, but guys like obviously Devin Hester. Whenever you're going oh, up yeah. against a guy like that, you know you don't want to let him return yep. the ball. And Josh Cribbs, I think those two guys, yep. are the guys that I played against, where if you're playing them, you don't want to give them a chance. There's Shea Zier. I'm hearing Scobie has the record for most 50-yard field goals in a game with three. Yep. Yep. That's impressive. That, that's imp that's earning gotta, your we, paycheck. We got to get a card. I'm just saying. We got some EA folks here, some NFL folks here. We got to get this guy in the game. We need some kickers. I, I'll be honest. I need some kickers. I never have enough range. <laughs> Rosie marching, the marching down the field right here. If he can just at least get field goal here, it's still a one-possession ball game. But you need to get points on this drive right here. If you're a Rosie, you dig yourself in a big hole. I mean, could you imagine, Josh, if you were playing a five-minute quarter football game, how much crazier does the pace get in that situation? Yeah, with that running clock like that, you, you got to get points every single drive, and especially the way this is run. And I, I like what Josh said earlier about how he had no problem uh, doing the pooch kick to yeah. keep the ball out. And yeah. you see that a lot when you talk to pros and coaches. A lot of the strategies that these competitive Madden players implement, given the circumstances, pros and coaches would implement these same strategies. It's the smart thing to do. These kids aren't just playing a the game. They're thinking strategically, and everything is calculated. They put a lot of work into this stuff. You know, it should it's be funny. the end of the quarter. Sometimes these guys are actually 
smarter than coaches. <laughs> Seriously. Because they're willing to take a risk. Sure. Most coaches are just going to do things that they're comfortable with doing. These guys will take a risk. Yeah, well, these guys aren't going to get fired when, <laughs> when, when, they, when they mess it up. Exactly. <laughs> but no, that, that's an interesting point as well. Heading to quarter number two. That man right there from Louisiana has got a 11-point lead behind the arm of Michael Vick. RG3 rolling to the right, looking downfield, and just has to throw it away. That's a mature play right there for Arosa. You're already in field, and you just need to be careful right now. You don't want to turn the ball over, and you see him not force the ball. He threw it away, lived to fight another down, and that's a mature play from the young man. You'll love to see that stuff. Scott Cole, RG, hanging out with Jacksonville Jaguars legend Josh Scobie. How's the golf game, by the way? Still getting out there? Way too good right now. Way too good. (laughs) Retirement at a young age is good for my golf game. I got to get out there more often. I've been slacking lately. Well, slacking on the golf course is a good thing. That's right. You're spending too much time in airports over there. That's right. 20 hours to get here. Janikowski, actual Jacksonville native, too. Oh, really? Yeah, he lives here in the offseason. Inside information, the lefty. He and I played quite a bit of golf together oh, really? in the offseason. Yep. So, and there's, there's like a fraternity among the kickers in the league. Do you talk with the guys here in Jacksonville? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, no one knows this stadium better than I do <laughs> in terms of kicking. So, right. you know, I, I give them my input whenever it's wanted and needed and, and try to help out when I can. One thing when you're kicking a, a field goal in Madden, Josh, is you always got to be aware of the, the potential for a block. Yep. And that's always scary anytime you're lining up. And especially blocks usually go the other way to the house in Madden. When you were kicking field goals, how, how concerned were, were you about it getting blocked? Or are you just focused on making the kick? You're, you're normally just focused on the kick. The only time you're ever worried about it is if they have someone that's 6'7", six, 6'8". Seven, six, yeah. yeah, in the middle. Then you're, If you have Calais Campbell out there, yeah. then you're worried about him. He actually blocked one of mine years back when he was with Arizona. Wow. 6'7", you could imagine that wingspan, right? Yeah, they don't have to Which, jump very, yeah. very high. They just raise their arm. That's a good point. Eight-point game here in the second quarter. A Rosie needs a stop. He's the local guy trying to do it for the Jags. And you said it before, RG. Whichever one of these competitors win, Jacksonville's going to have a serious contender at the Pro Bowl. Oh, these guys are both phenomenal players. No matter what happens, Wilde's already made a name for himself in the Madden community, uh, our tight niche community. But Arosi is the And you best believe he has made a name for himself no matter what happens here today. Jacksonville has a a Madden player to be proud of. First and 10 at the 48, and it goes to Herschel Walker, and Walker can't get free. Going to lose two yards. It's going to be second and 12. That didn't happen often in Herschel's career, I can tell you that. Well, he's getting a little old now. He's What is he, 50 now? So <laughs> a little tough to run the ball. I, th- I, th- I think he could still play. But I think I, he, was <laughs> winning, he was winning MMA fights at like 40-something yeah. years old. Like, what a monster. Him and Bo Jackson just... Kind of yeah, they don't age. Yeah. yeah. You know, before the SEC championship game, they had both of them on the field, and they looked like they could throw the helmet on and, and make something happen. First and 10 at the 41. I'm wild on a drive here, and he's that clock is starting to tick, tick, tick away. And if you're wild, you're just focused and pretty much getting the ball a little bit beyond that 35-yard line so you can get yourself in field goal range, make this two possessions, but that's not going to help if you get sacked. He just throws it up. It looked like he's trying to run the clock down a yeah. bit, too. No tight ends in that formation, RG. and It's hard to pick up that pressure. And one thing we should call out, Josh, is it's harder to kill the clock in competitive Madden because you only have a 30-second play clock as opposed to the 40-second play clock, and that's to combat those five-minute quarters. Makes sense. Empties out the backfield, and Vic will take off. Oh. Breaks a tackle. He's got room. And he's wrapped up at the 18-yard line, and welcome to the Michael Vick experience. And a broken tackle from Vick is going to be scary because now there's nobody in pursuit. He's got room in the middle of the field. Your stick versus mine. Big tackle right there by a Rosie. 
But for Wilds, fortunate because now he's in field goal range. He could take his time, kill as much of this clock as he wants, and try to go into the second half of two possessions. Now, Josh, you came into the league in 04. Well, Michael Vick, did you, did you ever get to see that live? Oh, I played against a few times, and luckily I uh, never had to be on the field against <laughs> him. He was a freak of nature. Two-minute warning here. Eight-point game. It's more about the clock right now, RG, than it's the points. Yeah, I, with a Rosie having all three of his timeouts right here, you got to think it's going to be really hard for Wild to kill this whole minute 50 right now. Um, you just got to focus on not turning the ball over, try to score the touchdown, get your points, but you got to assume a Rosie's going to get the ball back at some point. He's going to also have it to start the second half. We're here in the finals, live from Jacksonville. Just a little bit of bit away from the Seahawks and the Jags. It's our first time doing it outside. It's our first time doing it on a game day, and it's kind of a special formula. That's pretty cool. I think this will be the first of many good ones here, and it's only going to get better from here. Last year's Jags champion was True Boy. Put up a good fight, and now you got an opportunity for I'm Wild or a Rosie, and here's a 44-yarder from Bryant, and it splits the uprights. And both Arozzi and Wild discussed how last year when they saw someone else win the Jacksonville Jaguars Club Championship, they weren't okay with it. They knew that they were going to come back this year and go for that glory. And sure enough, they set a goal for themselves, and here they are, both of them a few quarters away from accomplishing that goal. Got to be careful with that kick. You guys are playing to see who's going to represent the Jags at the Pro Bowl, and they're also going to get themselves that custom championship jersey. All, all Mr. Josh Scobie is going to be passing out to the winner after this. Yeah, it's a pretty cool jersey. I saw it backstage a little while ago, and I actually wanted to keep it myself. <laughs> I, th I think you could probably work that out. Not this one, but we could probably get you one. Yeah, I mean, you get, you get your custom jersey for showing yep. up. You get yep. a swag bag. You get to go to the game. And then if you win, you get the championship jersey, all expenses paid trip to the Pro Bowl, and a yep. chance to compete for 150 grand. Not a bad day at the office, if you ask me. Not bad. First and 10. He's moving. A Rosie is moving down the field right now. Still has two timeouts. Got about 50 seconds. Again, he just needs to get in field goal range so he can make this a one-possession game, get it in the second half, and then anything could happen. RG3 throws it to T.Y. Hilton. Hilton. Spins to the 32, so it'd be a 49-yarder there from Janikowski. He's got plenty of leg, but you, on the edge of field goal range, you can't lose any yards. Yeah, you got to be careful right here if you're a Rosie, but how prolific he's looked passing the ball. I have a feeling he's going for the touchdown right here. He wants the gusto. RG3 can't take a sack, and he just throws this one away wildly. That's going to bring up second and ten. Smart to throw it away, and we keep talking about it, but it just shows if you want to compete at Madden on a high level, you need to be willing to throw that ball away, yep. just like in the NFL. You can't force things. Over the middle to Reed to the 16. We'll see if he hurries it up. He does have it's ticking. one timeout. The clock is on the move. It's ticking. Under 20 seconds now. Big play for a Rosie. Do not want to force it in. He'll take off with RG3. He's going for glory. And he'll slide down at the four-yard line, and that's where he'll use that timeout. And now you definitely can't take a sack. And you can't run the ball right here, though, with no timeouts. No. You can't take a sack. I'm sure you guys practiced that, Josh. Were you running the field goal team on? How much time did you need? Uh, typically 16 seconds is okay. just about the, the minimum for it. In Madden, you need about seven seconds. <laughs> so, six, six seconds in Madden. Real life is a bit harder. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I think he's going to settle for three here, but that does make it a one-possession on. game. We need to take a timeout, what you just said there. We don't settle for three points. <laughs> <laughs> you get three points. We get three points. If Never you, settle for a you field goal. It, you don't settle for field goals. <laughs> One of my least favorite things. Least favorite ever terms ever. Football, when you settle for three points. You should be happy you got some points. Exactly. What you say? You should be happy. We talked about that. Madden, happy. Madden 18 has been one of the toughest 
games to get points. You get them while you can. And a lot of times people consider that a, a win when yeah, you absolutely. can get three points on yeah. the board. You know, past Madden's, it's just been you air it out, air it out. But yeah. this, there's a lot of defense in Madden 18. But this is a game, I mean, the actual game today, the Jags and Seahawks, I mean, it, it's going to be a game where field goals will matter. Yeah, we got some folks filling in there at Ever. Bank Field. We got an eight-point game heading to second half. Of course, Josh Scobie's going to hang out with us. We'll be back for the second half of the final. Two K or FIFA? Oh, uh, I would say two K. Two K. You get to use a lot of great players that you watch. You know. On TV, like LeBron, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry. Ooh, that's a tough one because I play both. But if I really got to choose, choose, I'm going to choose FIFA. I talk a good game, I really suck, but I'm still going to play FIFA. Uh, FIFA, I just started playing FIFA and I uh, never really got into 2K, so big FIFA fan and uh, NHL fan. That's a hard one because I, pl I play both very heavy. Uh, I would say 2K. I mean, recently, in the recent years, I haven't played that much FIFA, so 2K, 2K is killing it with my career. Oh, by far FIFA. I mean, the, the gameplay with FIFA is unbelievable, but I'm a, I'm bigger, I'm a more of a soccer fan than a basketball fan, so that probably has a lot to do with it. But. 2K, um, the reason being is because you get to play with some of the best players, you know, as far as uh, LeBron James, you know, um, Kyrie Irving, and, and those type of guys. 2K, I'm just better at 2K. I like basketball, and. FIFA's fun, though. I wouldn't say either 2K or FIFA, because I'm, I'm more of a Madden guy myself. If I'm not playing Madden, I'm going to call a dude. Hashtag Jaguars Club Championship. As you see, the fans starting to fill in here in Jacksonville, taking on the Seahawks. Just a little, couple minutes from now, actually, as the fans are starting to file in. We got some good crowd here. 17 to nine here at the half. Let's take a look at the first half highlights between I'm Wild and Arosi. So we'll go right here into the first quarter. Wild to stand in the pocket with Vic. You don't see that every day, but he lets one rip. John Ross breaks a tackle. Huge gain right there. Yeah, the he, Vic to Ross pass has been huge. Yeah, I, I, it looks like vintage Michael Vic from back in uh, the days watching his commercials where he's throwing it 90 <laughs> yards. Yeah, Rosie wasn't too happy about that one. Wild runs it in with Herschel. And then you see Vic again to Ross, lets one rip. Does the rack catch buttons? Make sure he catches it in stride. And a, little a cover two. Cover two against that 3-4, splitting the safeties back there and able to get a field goal late to make it a one-score game. So we're here at the half here in Jacksonville. Scott Cole, RG, and of course, we're hanging out with Jags legend Scobie. And you've made Jacksonville your home, really never left, and you're going to be here forever. Yeah, this is a place where I started out my football career and yeah. where I, I wanted it to end, and this is where we're going to retire. So love it here. Love Jacksonville. Yeah, good crowd. It's, like I said before, it's like a college atmosphere around here. They got a big game. I heard somebody yelling out some Duval out there, and we're just getting ready here for the second half. And, boy, it's going to be a wild crowd in there. We're going to go to the game. It's going to be wild in there. Uh, for the Seahawks, going to face a loud crowd today. Yeah, I, I think uh, this is the biggest game in a long time, uh, yeah. for This, especially at home. So looking forward to it, and uh, I think it's going to be a great day. Yeah, absolutely. It's already been that. We're just continuing it. Here comes the second half kickoff. It's a one-possession game, and a Rosie is going to receive here, RG, and this is going to be a huge first possession to start half number two. Oh, and a Rosie, if he could have just let that go out of bounds, would have had the ball at the 40-yard line. Instead, wasn't able to click onto the kick returner and pull him away from that. Gets the ball at the 18 instead. Take a look at this play selection here. A lot of passing. We, we saw some running in semifinals one and two, but here in the finals, they're starting to air it out. 
Yeah, Rosie really likes airing it out. He's got this streak post and double cross combo. And that's that's a lot to guard. You got the tight end running vertical. You got your outside flanker receiver running a deep post over the middle. And two guys just coming across. That's a lot to guard right here. Everybody on the field is a weapon that you have to account for. Second and four. Needs a score and a two-point conversion. Open. The corner route to Reed. And Reed to the 41. Look at this poise. Let's the corner route. The hard flat takes away the underneath stuff. Makes the right read. Andre Reed one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to make that play. A Rosie looking good so far to open up this drive. RG3 now finds Paul Richardson, the Seahawk. Got a lot of speed, and he moves it to the 45. Rosie's doing a good job picking up the pressure, extending the play, making Wild go take the deep crossing routes over the middle and then dumping it down underneath. John Taylor with the tackle, but not before they pick up the first down. Good-looking drive coming out of half here for Morosi. Just lives 20 minutes from the stadium. Diehard Jacks fans trying to be the representative here at the Pro Bowl. Yeah, he's got his mom, Monica, just up the street at home watching. His dad, George, said his little cousin Christopher may be in attendance here just to cheer him on. And there's a big hit. There's Jadavion Clowney with a second sack of the game. It's going to bring up a third and long. Big play right here for a Rosie. He came here. You're trying to represent the Jaguars. You got a free trip to Jacksonville. You get to go to the Jags Seahawks game. You got your family watching. But you need to be able to pull away the victory if you want it to all be really worth it and you want all the glory and to fully accomplish the goal that you set out to accomplish. Try to fake hike there to draw the defense off, but ends up getting a false start. So risk-reward pushes it to third and 22. Yeah, and he's smart-routed Reed to extend that route way past the first down marker. Got to get rid of it. Throws in a coverage, and it's picked off by Anthony Barr, and Barr will get forced out of bounds at the 35-yard line. And that's huge for Wild because not only does he force the turnover, gets the big lurk with Barr, he's also able to run this back the other way, get himself in field goal range where he'll most likely be able to make this two possessions. And that's that user lurk where he talked about where he controlled that defender from the snap of the ball to the point of the interception. Done like a true Madden pro. Good stick work right there by Wild. And Herschel Walker's actually going to lose a yard. Five carries for four yards. Does have the touchdown. That's starting to push him beyond the field goal range. 53-yarder from there to make it a two-possession game. You get nervous as a kicker, like, come on, come on, guys. Don't lose any more yards here. Make it easy on me. Oh, yeah. Anytime you get in range, you don't want them to lose any yards. And talk to me a little bit about the hashes. Like, did you have a preferred hash? Uh, it just depends on the wind. Yeah. That's all. I mean, if the wind is blowing left to right, you'd rather be on the left hash yeah. and vice versa. So first and ten. I'm trying to learn, Archie. This is, we're getting good, this is good stuff. Stolpe's dropping some knowledge up here. I'm feeling it. Michael Fick takes off, and he will. Wow. 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 I was about to say he was going to score, but he's going to get stopped at the half-yard line. And that's probably, I'm Wild's probably cool with that. Now it's some time to take off some more time on the clock. Well, you need to protect Vic too. He's yeah. fortunate he didn't fumble right there on the one-yard line. That would have been devastating for Wild. But like you said, he gets to keep killing the clock right now, which is, Really big deal. Well, he was at the half-yard line. Now he's at the four-inch line. That nose of the football is almost touching the goal line. From Wild, just chewing some gum, dead serious. Knows he's taking care of business. And he gets in there for six. And now we got a 14-point game. This will make it 15 with the extra point. How many extra points did you miss? Is that a... You're like, uh, zero? Wait, I, Seriously. I don't, I don't remember any messes. So <laughs> I, try, I try to forget those over time. What's, what's the feeling of that? Is that like missing a wide open layup? and Because when you were kicking, it was obviously way closer. Yeah. It, it, Do you like that rule? It's no, it's a terrible rule. I don't <laughs> like it at all. It, it's, it's led to some missed extra points for sure. Yeah, you know what? People like to see a train wreck, and yeah. <laughs> kickers don't. That's no, <laughs> absolutely. 
and Vic will take it. Almost in for the score. He ends up sneaking it in. It's a 15-point game. Off his back foot. Rosie's having some trouble right now. Wild, we said his favorite saying is, it's a box. And it looks like he's got a Rosie's offense in a box right now. Rosie's going to have to break out of that, get something going here. This has been his best play. He's going to send the tight end on a streak, a post, and then two crossing routes. He finds Reed at the 44. That's dangerous throwing it around Sean Taylor. RG, it seems like you know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've played a little mad. Yeah. Feels like you want to get back in it. <laughs> I live through these guys now, Josh. I live <laughs> through these guys. Yeah, I know what you mean. 60 seconds left in the quarter. He's going to playmaker him up. He's got him. Take oh, off oh, with RG3 spin. to the 30. He's in field goal range, but they need touchdowns now. And a Rosie wakes the crowd up a little bit. Look at this stick work. Roll out right. Playmaker the receiver. Clear it out. Whoopsie. <laughs> Big first down. 15-point game. Oh, ooh, oh, what? Get away. Banana scramble. But oh. can't throw it downfield. It's a loss of six. No idea how he got away. RG3's got the DT running in circles. I think that's that 10-cap Vince Wilfork. He's, he's going to have some trouble making that play on RG3. Second wow. and 16. You can't take a sack there. You're well out of field goal range. Feeling confident now, RG. Look at Wild. He puts the hands up. And wow, and it's great to see Wild. Like we said, he was a relatively unknown player just two years ago. Made a run to the Final Four. Now he's one of the most recognizable faces in the Madden community. Almost threw a pick. Got another pick. And Arosi is in a desperate situation right here. Fourth and 26. Fourth and forever with four seconds left in the third. The thing he's able to do is use the smart route mechanic, though, to get these routes to extend to that first down marker. That's time. We'll throw it up. Double coverage, and it'll be a turnover on downs as we head to the fourth quarter. Put your fours up. The man from New Orleans is in control. It's a box, and he's just such a defensive player. It's funny how these Madden players develop these – you personas almost, and these attitudes, you know? Josh, you almost think that's the real Madden graphics there as we look down at the field. Parking lot filling up. I could smell the burgers. I know they got some good stuff out there in that parking lot. They are already uh, partook in some of those uh, <laughs> game festivities. I, I need I a, tell you, yes. I need a wet beak, Josh. I want some. <laughs> Listen, as soon as this gets over, we'll head back out there. <laughs> oh, and, I, and I'm the man. I'm walking around Jacksonville with Josh Scobie. I know. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get the good treatment. <laughs> What's the go-to tailgate? If, if, if we you're set up your perfect tailgate, what's what do you got there? Well, you need burgers, you need some hot dogs, of course, you need some beer, yeah. and, and everything else like that. Uh, but uh, my my buddies over here, Red Zone Realty, have oh, yeah? perfect spot over here. So you get bored, head over that direction, you get a free shot. We're less than an hour away from kickoff. Probably the most anticipated game. What, what would you say, Josh? A decade? I would say so. I mean, yeah. I, I can't remember a game that I played in before 07 here that was a, a bigger game, and uh, especially this late in the year. I mean, we're in the middle of January now, and the Jaguars are relevant and yeah. in it. And that makes it huge. They've done it through the draft, and they've done it on defense. And now Herschel Walker, the legend. You know, RG got an opportunity to head. You know, we, you, we were supposed to do the Patriots together. But you headed out to, to meet the man, the legend, the John Madden. Yeah, I got to sit down and watch football with John Madden in his man cave, once in a lifetime experience, and truly in the presence of a true true guru. You should you think we have predictive analysis? You should see that guy watch football. He'll tell you exactly what's gonna happen before it happens. And at one time he organically gave me a boom. He's like, oh, you know, they come over here and he goes there and boom. And I'm like, oh my gosh, he did it. <laughs> it, was, it was amazing. Once in a lifetime. And we love Romo's commentary, but he was he was saying, no, no, no. He's, he's talking way too much. No, he said Romo was good. He just, uh, like how I do to you, I just step on your, <laughs> step on your toes a little bit every now and then. And then I do the summer all. Thanks, RG. <laughs> you got, you got to, sometimes it's hard to explain stuff. There's a lot going on in football. 
Third and five. What about this performance from Ryan Wild? It's been dominant, Josh. It's impressive. It, it, it reminds me of the Jaguars' defense. So it, it, if this can happen today in reality, it would be a fantastic <laughs> thing for the team. And it's fitting that Wild could be the one representing the Jaguars because he really does have – uh, you know, that defensive mentality. He's known as a defensive guru on Madden, much like the Jags are right now in the league. I, the best defense in the league, in my opinion. I think statistics will also show the same thing. So very fitting fit for Wild uh, to potentially to get, be representing the I'm Jaguars. Get some popcorn in my nose, some pretzels. I mean, it's, it's, it's you can it's tell us about game the game time. time. Yeah, yeah I, I'm getting that feeling, too. It's, you know when the uh, kickoff's about to happen. You, you get that feeling. You can feel it. And we got to give a shout-out to all these Jags fans still oh, in yeah. attendance still watching us here us. before the game. Thank you, guys. This is You guys are making it awesome. You see just starting to oh, fill I in. I see jersey out here. I see there you go. Look at that. Look at that guy go. Rocking the 10. Yeah. And then the bottom right of your screen, we're here at Daly's Place, the amphitheater in the shadows of Everbank Field. Okay. What a cool little facility down here. There yeah. he is over there. I see him, buddy. Oh, wait, that's a Matt Jones jersey. Never mind. Matt Jones. <laughs> you know Matt Jones was a Madden legend. Oh. Didn't have the greatest yeah, NFL played career. At played at Arkansas. 6'5", 6'6". Six, six, six. Oh, you yeah. just throw a jump ball up to him, click on, make a play. Jaguars were a good team in Madden for a while. Maurice Jones drew. Big Mercedes Lewis. George Estandia, 6'8", tight, backup tight end. Yes, I remember him. He was yes. a monster in Madden. He tried got. Garden six foot eight in a video game is not an easy task. Yeah, he's a real life monster too, man. <laughs> Just humongous. Scott Cole and RG hanging out with Josh Scoby here. Want to give a big shout out to Tracy Evans and the whole Jaguar team, and Larry Rosen with the game day crew. Just absolutely crushing it today. A lot of great NFL folks here. I see the commissioner Matt Marcou way off in the distance, hanging out there on the top row. You don't. You, don't, you can't sneak up on me. I see you out there. <laughs> That's the commissioner of our league, Matt Marcoux, hanging out here, making the short drive up from Orlando. And he's a true Madden legend. He is yeah. a guy that Madden Esports kind of died off for a while. Marcoux came into the building, and before you know it, we're playing for over a million dollars, second year in a row, all 32 Madden uh, club, NFL clubs involved. Huge shout-out to the commissioner, Matt Marcoux. Yeah, just eight last year and 32 this year. Wow. So it's a, this is growing. You know, it, you know, our parents growing up, Josh, they're like, video games, you'll never amount to anything. Don't yeah. waste your time with that. Well, it's uh, starting to become a pretty good profession for a lot of these guys. And it's a different mentality. When we were growing up, I didn't have parents that played video games, so they never understood. To them, it was something new. This new generation, they, they have parents that play video games, and they understand them, and they're not, you know, terrified of them. So it's more accepted in today's culture and i think that contributes to you seeing esports grow at such a rapid pace and companies like ea and the nfl getting behind yep. it it's a great time absolutely perfect partnership and the jags second year in a row the early adopters of the club championship and herschel walker puts this one out of reach for a rosie the cinderella story is going to come to an end I feel like we need music after. If they just would play the Born to be Wild song after <laughs> Wild scored a touchdown, I, tail would be wagging. I mean, you know, he was a Cinderella story back in six Madden yeah. sixteen. You didn't really know about him, and he ended up being in the Final Four. I believe he got beat by was it Problem or Stiff? It was Problem. Problem beat him. Yeah, the one of the greatest Madden players of all time. So. Josh, one thing I've always been curious about, like, let's say that this game is close right now, right? And a Rosie, say it's tied up, and a Rosie needs to put this drive together to get into field goal range. What's the kicker's mentality as that's happening on the sideline? Are you kind of watching? Are you just warming up? I mean, what's going through your head on that last money drive where you know you might need to make the money kick? Uh, you, you, get, you get in the mindset to where you hope it comes down to you. Because, you want it. You yeah, want the ball. If you don't have that mindset, then you're not going to be mentally ready. So I always try to tell myself that I, I hope that they end up fourth down and it's on me because, you know, I want to make the kick. I, I want to help the team win the game. Got you. So what, what's your most memorable kick as a Jaguar? Uh, the one we had here back in 2010, 59-yarder uh, against the Colts uh, with five seconds left to win the game. That was my most memorable one here. Yeah, MJD used to talk about 
just give the Colts hell. He would just give the Colts hell when they come down. Uh, yeah, I loved playing against the Colts. And I had some fantastic games against them. And yep. I think we only won a few games against them while Peyton Manning was playing, but there were some great ones. Well, we appreciate you being up here in the booth. You got to let – I know we got some Jaguars personnel in here. We got to get we got to get Josh Scoby up in the radio booth here in the, for the Jaguars. Doing an excellent job, man. I appreciate you hanging out with us. You're oh, gonna, thank you. You're gonna end up passing out the championship jersey. Oh yeah, I got it right behind me. And it and it looks like I'm Wild's gonna be your champion. Sort of fitting, a guy from Louisiana. That's where you had your college roots. Oh yeah. He's gonna represent Jacksonville in Orlando at the Pro Bowl. 32 teams, well, uh, 32 players representing 32 teams ascending at the Pro Bowl, trying to make it to the Super Bowl. And this is going to be it for a Rosie. We got to give a shout out to the hometown here where oh, Rosie yeah. came back from Villanova, came home to Jacksonville, tried to put on for the city one time. He just ran into a tank, and I'm wild. And that's, we'll do it here from Jacksonville. I'm wild, will be your club champion. And here comes the good sportsmanship that you always see in Matt. I mean, 99 times out of 100, these guys really have respect for each other. Let's check out the second half highlights here, RG, and how I'm Wild got to do it. Yeah, I'm Wild, the defensive specialist, but was also getting it done on offense. We've seen this before. Mike Vick bombing it to John Ross. That's a great way to get the offense opened up, Scott, especially in a game where it's hard to get plays, uh, big chunk plays. Herschel Walker. See Herschel Walker here in the first quarter, stretching out to the outside. I'm glad they finally gave us the full game highlights. I, I wanted to see how I'm Wild really put this together. At this point, it's 7-3, to three, and there's John Ross, and nobody's catching Ross. Yeah, he had the we, – we were worried about him because he completely tanked those wide receivers, but he had John Ross and company looking fantastic, led by Michael Vick. Arosi gets the field goal. We were still in a ball game, made a two possessions. Wild's not really feeling it. Look at him, talking to himself, a little disgusted there. But it didn't matter. He came out, and he had Anthony Barr lurking. A big third and 22. And a second and goal as Michael Vick punched it in, and that took us to the fourth quarter, and I'm wild. Had a huge lead, and that pretty much capped it off. And all swag from the man from New Orleans, representing Louisiana. And now he's here with us in the booth. Big win for you, Wild. Yeah, that was a big one. I needed that. I needed that bad, man. Yeah, this was your final chance. Nothing, nothing else was out there. You had to win this one to keep your Madden going here in Madden 18. Yeah, that, and like that, just just knowing that, I had a like I, I had a whole different sense of urgency. Like this whole week, like I did things different. Like I just I thought more. Like I, I had a bunch of games where I lost close during this year like overtime in vegas overtime in el paso um draft champions lost by three like you know just so i just wanted to try to figure out ways to like eliminate you know that like and i and i feel like if i keep you know taking my time and laughing like that or preparing like that because i will honestly say this is probably the best i ever prepared like so far as detail wise you know Wow, you came into this event. Congratulations. A lot of pressure. You said you were feeling the pressure because you were the favorite coming into this event. That put a, a little extra strain on you. How good does it feel to overcome that pressure and get the job done here today? Uh, oh, that feels great because, like, um, I never, I never, I'm never, like, not, you know, like an underdog or whatever, you know. So, like, it, it, it definitely was, like, a different feel, you know, being a favorite compared to, you know, always, like, when I first popped on the scene, it was like, well, this is I'm wild, you know, like, and my opponents wasn't worrying about me. Like, now it's like, today I know it was a whole different feel, you know, like, I saw, like, a Twitter poll, and, you know, like, <laughs> it was like, all me, I'm like, wow, I was like, I really got to fight today, like, I can't lay down or nothing. Last question for you, what's it like to prepare with Skimbo and some of the top players? How much does that help you? 
Yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie. Mike helped me out a lot, but um, I definitely gotta shout out my my dudes, like Wild Gang. You know what I'm saying? Like Wild Gang for real. Like yeah. Tweez, Cole, V Tech, Frank yeah. Dante, Scheming, of course. You yeah. know, my my whole game. Chef God Cole. I love y'all, boys. Thank y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. we we finna try to take it to a whole nother level now. You know, it's like I just wanted to get this out of the way so I could like really really lock in and prepare for for Orlando, like Pro Bowl, like I feel like, you know, to make it to the Ultimate League, I done, I done been in the last event, like yeah. the last two years, so like I, I ain't trying to get left out, so like I'm about to, I'm really about to have like a whole different lock-in, like, you know, like I'm about to try to figure everything out, like for real, for <laughs> real. I think the Jags Club Championship is in good hands yeah. with, with this man right here. Huh? He looks like a man on a mission. Well, Definitely. we'll let you go in and head down there, hang out with the Jags cheerleaders, get your championship. Uh, Jersey and once again congratulations take a look at the bracket here as I'm wild with a big 31 to 9 win I appreciate him joining us here in the booth and you got a good one RG here in Jacksonville this is a guy that you could see making a run at the Pro Bowl and perhaps all the way to the Super Bowl yeah and how fitting is it that the defensive specialist the defensive guru there it's it going to be the one representing the Jacksonville Jaguars at the club championship. Hanging out with Josh Scobie. We appreciate him being the booth that we mentioned before. Tracy and her whole group, Larry and their whole group. It's been absolutely amazing.